What's up? It's me, Leon Exodio, and I'm going to show you guys how to add a new character in the game, Fight and Rage. So, go to the Discord description, go to the resources, download DN Spy, and uh, run it. I'm just going to delete all this. Hit File, Open, Fight and Rage.exe. And you open this up, this up. So now you go to beat em up game, constants, and then you would click on this one, the first link. Right click, edit class, and you kind of just scroll down the bottom to see all this purple text until you see this character type, and you see gal, wolf, you see all that. Already got a couple of them I've added. But to add a new character, the last character, which yours would be leader, um, they don't have a comma. So you would just comma, enter, and then you can name it wherever you want. So I'm going to name it uh, Knuckles. It has to be all capital as far as I'm aware of. And you just hit compile. And then now we have a new ID. But it's useless. So now you go to character defeat requirements right click that it should pop this up which you can edit these numbers so you can unlock these characters this is what it is so uh, I usually just copy one of them already just hit enter copy paste it and then you would just rename it to knuckles or whatever you want Ooh, excuse me and then when you get done with that just kinda scroll up until you see this part where uh, the character prices normally this would be 200 300 and 800 um, I just changed it to 2 3 and 8 because you know I can so you would almost do the same thing just copy the last thing enter copy paste and then you can just name it uh, you name it exactly what your other ID was I, I usually change it to 2 because these are kinda worthless kinda characters and they're cheap enough so and then now you would yeah that's it okay so hit compile so we did the price which is there so you would do the scroll down to initialize costume by character right click edit class and then this is where the clone kind of thing happens so I already got three of them but you would have furry girl the minotaur and the ninja so usually you would just copy one of these so since I'm using the minotaur as a base I'm gonna copy him and you're just gonna go to the very last one which is the ninja hit enter and then paste and then of course you would change this to whatever your ID is mine's knuckles and then these are the costume slots that he uses so if you go to character so if you go to your fight and rage mod characters uh, I have these here so I have him set to 24 my knuckles move set set to uh, 24 so I would just change this 23 to 24 and the last slot doesn't uh, there has to be uh, nothing here no comma no nothing as far as I'm aware of you might be able to uh, let me just let me see uh, where is it at here it is you might be able to use another character like you might be able to use bat number four you know since he doesn't exist or uh, anyone else like monkey number four you know ninja dove number number four since there's only three of them you might be able to I haven't tried that out yet I just been using the main characters and it's been fine so now now uh, knuckles will be using the 24 slot so if we play it now it would crash because that 24 slot does not exist anymore does not exist but before we do that, you just gotta scroll down, main characters, right click on that, and it'd be here. It just select the last slot, hit enter, copy paste, 
and then go up to the previous one, hit comma, take this one, name it uh, whatever your ID is, and then you just scroll down, you could just cop, you can copy this, what you just made, scroll down to here, these are selectable characters. So main characters are for like arcade mode and training mode, and so, excuse me, and selectable characters is for the free arcade mode and anyone that you can play, uh, pretty much everyone you can play as. So of course, go to the last slot, hit comma, enter, con uh, and control V, so you can paste that. And then shop characters, he's not, so shop characters, we had, uh, we had to do the same thing. Scroll down, go to shop characters, comma on the last one, enter, control V. And I think that's it. Is that it? Let me make sure. Yep, that's it. Okay. Hit compile. And if it doesn't compile right, if you get a bunch of errors at the very bottom of the screen right here, that means you left out a comma or you've done something wrong. It will tell you where. So all that is done. Selectable characters. All these are completely done. So now we don't need that no more. So you would go down to beat em up game scripts, go to image character, uh, image library collect collectors, collecting, collect, whatever, Jesus Christ. Uh, these are the, the characters and how many outfits that they, that they have. So in theory, you could give Gal, uh, 80 different outfits as, uh, and if you get, if you make this number 80, Normally it's like 19, but if you change this number to 80, then you and your character mod folder, you have to put a PNG and an XML up up to number 80. So you have to. So me, I put her as 24. So I have to put 20 to 24. If you don't, the game will not start, and it will throw a big red flag error towards your way. But since we're doing the Minotaur, uh, I gave him 24 for Knuckles. I forgot. There you go. Okay. Right click on that. I lost. Right click on image library. And then go to him. And go to 24. So now he's set to 24. Hit compile. And we we'll go up to character description. Uh, descriptors. Go to on script right here right click actually no before we do that before we do that that's not before we do that go to character stat directories first I apologize right click on that edit class C these are the move sets in the game roughly so as far as I'm aware of this will tell the game what this is all gal stuff so it says gal human and from this weapon attack all the way down here as far as I'm aware of this is what the game tells the character to do possibly in the XML and the character XML well so since we're using the Minotaur as a base uh, we're gonna click on there go down to the very here and hit shift and left click we're gonna right click copy and you're just gonna scroll all the way down until you're like at the very end before you get to this you just hit enter control V go up to to the directory right here now this has to be all lowercase this is your uh, the purple letter or the purple yeah the purple letter that you put in earlier so I'm putting knuckles for it has to be in all lowercase for some reason so knuckles is using the minotaur hit compile so now before we go to this we have to file save we have to compile it because if we don't uh, for some reason the ID of knuckles won't register in this file so right click edit class C and we're gonna go we're gonna scroll down until you see the the brute which is a clone of the minotaur and you're just gonna copy that and you're just gonna paste it uh, right after I already have three of them 
but you just gonna paste it. I usually paste it above slave slave girl. So you would just hit enter on that one, just paste it above it. And then you would change that to knuckles. See now it's registering. You would keep that the same. And then now you would change this to whatever you want. So I'll change that to knuckles. Hit compile. And if I'm right, I think that's it on everything. So we'll just file, hit save as, compile it again. Make sure uh, the XML and the PNG is set to there. And then now we're going to load the game up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It loaded. Usually you can tell if you made a mistake by that object not being complete. And you would go down to extra, extra character, go to the left, and there he is. Already pur purchased him. So of course you would just click on him and hit buy. And you would just buy them for like two coins or whatever it is. But yeah, so you got Knuckles. Uh, he has no description yet. But this is the early stages. I got another clone right here. But he has uh, a lot more reskins on him. Same thing with Knuckles. But this Knuckles is just purely Knuckles. He's his own. There's no extra skins. So now you can actually play as his character uh, you can't do training mode with them yet it's it's a lot more complicated to get them clone characters work with training mode stage practice works fine uh, arcade mode works fine so you got her him EX character EX character and then knuckles he only has one costume slot you just select them And then there he is, he's fully playable. So yeah, if uh so yeah, if you need any help, just let me know and uh I will see you next time.